coming up in this episode. Today has been quite muddy as well, in fact, uh, although not quite as bad as yesterday, it's probably still getting up there. This morning I've had quite a bit of time to reflect as I've been hiking on my overall experience here on the Rakiura track. The whole environment has just changed this beautiful forest here and all of a sudden I'm walking on rooty pathways again instead of the gravel that's been put down on the rest of the track. Well, it is ten past one so I've only been hiking for another hour since I left my little lunch spot and just reached this track junction here which tells me that North Arm Hut is just five minutes down the track that way. That would mean that I've only really been hiking for about four hours today so that's kind of a nice little surprise I wasn't expecting to get there until at least three o'clock today. let's just see what I managed to get away with. Not too bad, I don't think. Alright, so this is North Arm Hut. This is the bunk room that I'm staying in tonight. And uh, this is my <laughs> crumpled quilt right there. And uh, this is the other bunk room through here. Pretty much the same beautiful view out of the far window there. And uh, here's the main living area. I'm all settled into the hut now, I had a nice little rest of my legs but I just thought I'd come down and explore this little beach that we have at the hut here.
Good morning everybody and welcome to day three on the Rocky Auto Track. I'm sitting outside with my cup of tea and um, today I am heading through from North Arm Hut to back to Oban. So um, yeah, last day on the Rocky Auto Track today. Last night we were treated once again to um, a couple of deer, a mother and a baby deer just frolicking around on the lawn outside the hut which was really lovely whilst we were having dinner. And then I had a lovely evening playing cards with some of the other hut users here while we waited for it to get late enough and dark enough to go and do some kiwi spotting. and unfortunately didn't see any kiwi. Could hear them, but uh, did not see any. Today, once I get back to Oban, then I am heading straight back to Bluff this afternoon. The weather is not looking particularly great, which means that the crossing back to Bluff is likely to be not particularly great as well, which I'm not looking forward to. Definitely got the anxiety going already this morning, and I'm sure that by the time I get back to Oban around about lunchtime, I will have the full-on anxiety shakes. So I'm just going to be riding that wave out this morning and um, hopefully overcoming a couple of fears this afternoon. And just before I go, the sandflies here have been absolutely relentless. I've bitten so many times, and they go straight for the veins. Especially the poor little ones on my feet. lady at the dock visitor centre before we left Oban a couple of days ago said uh, or warned us of the mud on day two and so naturally we assumed or I certainly assumed that that might be all the mud. Today has been quite muddy as well in fact uh, although not quite as bad as yesterday it's probably still getting up there. Um, which is fine by me, but uh, I don't know that it would have been expected by a lot of the other hikers out here today on the track. Alrighty, just got to this little track junction here. I've just come down that track there, which goes back to North Arm Hut. It says about three and a half hours, but uh, I've been going for not quite three hours and I've had quite a few stops to video and things. Uh, this is the way that we are going in a minute. Uh, it says Half Moon Bay about an hour and a half or five kilometers. And then we've also got Kaipipi Bay, which is about 250 meters down here and uh, should take a couple of minutes to get to. So I'm gonna go and check that out. I've left my pack, dropped it at this junction here so that I don't have to carry it back up the hill. <laughs>
this morning I've had quite a bit of time to reflect as I've been hiking on my overall experience here on the Rakiura track and I have to say that it has definitely surpassed my expectations. I'm not quite sure exactly what I was expecting of this track. I knew that it was going to involve a lot of hiking through native forest and bush. I knew also that it would have muddy sections um, but I was expecting it to be sort of a backcountry highway cut through this remote, idyllic and pristine environment and it's been anything but that. In fact, in many ways it's been quite similar to some of the tracks that I've completed on Te Araroa and even more specifically just recently through the Richmond Ranges, albeit with quite a few less routes and quite a bit less mud. I am incredibly grateful and thankful for this Rakiura track and the opportunity to hike it because it's given me what is just a tiny little taste of exactly how much this island has to offer. Alrighty, that is it. That is the end of the Rakiura track proper. I still have about a two kilometer road walk down into Oban, but that there is the Ferngully track end, and that there is goodbye to Rakiura.